guys, this is Jared, aka The Saint of Sins on Xbox Live, bringing you some more MLB Thoughts quick predictions for Thursday, May 3rd, 2012. Yesterday was a rough outing for me as I ended the day 5 for 10, now moving me to 11 and 18 on the month. Here is a quick rundown of all the matches I got wrong. Picking the Tigers over the Royals, picking the Dodgers over the Rockies, picking the Brewers over the Padres, Picking the Yankees over the Orioles. Picking the Diamondbacks over Washington. Picking the Red Sox over the Athletics. Picking the Mariners over the Rays. Going with the White Sox over the Indians. Selecting the Pirates over the Cardinals. And finally, rolling with the Giants over the Miami Marlins. This now moves me to 189 and 178 on the season. There aren't many games being played today as there are a lot of teams on the road traveling to head out for their weekend series. But we'll begin in Atlanta, where the Braves and Phillies will clash for the final game of their three-game series, featuring a matchup of Joe Blanton and Randall Delgado. I'm going to remain high on the Braves' offense and be rolling with them to finish out this series with the victory. The Cubs will look to wrap up in Cincinnati with a series victory before heading home to host the visiting Dodgers. Yesterday I felt I picked up a cheap victory in sticking with my choice of the Cubs despite the pitching matchup not being Paul Mulholland versus Homer Bailey. But I do feel confident in sticking with my choice of picking the Cubs for the victory here as they go up against Homer Bailey sending Ryan Dempster up to the mound. The Rays will look to finish off the Mariners with a three game sweep sending up Jeff Neiman to face off against Kevin Millwood. I'll be rolling with the Rays to get that sweep. The Pirates will look to avoid the sweep in St. Louis, sending up Eric Bedard to face off against Jake Westbrook. I'm going to be rolling with my sympathetic pick here in the Pirates, simply because I do feel that they've started to open up their offense a little bit better, and though they've had a tough schedule thus far into the season that has prevented them from picking up enough wins to remain 500, I do feel, however, this team is a lot better than their record would show. Out in San Francisco, I'll be expecting a tremendous pitching duel as the Marlins will send up Annabelle Sanchez to face off against the Giants' Ryan Vogelsong. Both host tremendous numbers against the other's offense, sitting on career ERAs under two against the opposing lineups. Though I'm still not sold on the consistency of Miami's bats, I will be picking the Marlins in this outing simply because in three starts, Annabelle Sanchez has two complete games, both of which were shutouts. The Diamondbacks will look to avenge their loss over yesterday's game in Washington, sending up Ian Kennedy to wrap up this series against Ross Detweiler. Though I've been very impressed with Detweiler's performance on the season thus far, I cannot pick him in good consciousness in this matchup simply because Ian Kennedy is that much better and hosts a better stat line. The Indians will task Justin Masterson to pick up the series victory in Chicago as they face off against John Danks. If there were ever a matchup for Masterson to bounce back and pick up some big numbers, this would be it. I'll be rolling with the Indians as Danks numbers kind of scare me. The Yankees will travel out to this year's All-Star Game location, sending up David Phelps to face off against Danny Duffy. Phelps will be getting his first start of the season, likely a spot start to help push the rotation back and give them an extra day's rest. Offensively, I like the Yankees to take game one of this series. And finally, in Anaheim, the Angels will host the visiting Blue Jays, sending up Dan Heron to face off against Brandon Morrow. I like the Angels for this matchup as Morrow is 0 for 3 in 15 game appearances against them. That's going to do it for this edition of MLB Thoughts. I will see you guys later. Peace.